Hello everyone. So Romeo has been limping ever since I did a filming of riding a bike with your dog. And actually he was limping before that. So I think his hips are bothering him. So we are at the Goodwill getting him a very, very fluffy comforter for the lovely price of $20. And we're getting a bed for the little ones too. But uh, yeah, hopefully laying on that instead of being on the thin bed that he had because he ripped all the stuffing out will help his hips. We'll see. Look at that. Nice and cushy, huh? You like that? Got all those new smells to check out now, huh? You like it? It came with two different sides to it, so I'm going to keep the darker side out so that way it doesn't show as much dirt. You like that? Oh, there's a happy tail. Yes. See if that helps your hips, huh? What do you think about that? Now don't let the little people pee on it. And then we got a bed for the little people. And they have... Excuse you. That's one. No, this one's not for you. You can't even begin to fit in this one. Mr. Border Patrol. He's got to inspect all packages that come in the house. So this one is pretty much brand new and it's actually that comforter looks pretty much brand new as well but uh, this was $9.99 at the Goodwill and it's a very cushy dog bed. Uh, they had one before but the little runts over here decided it was a good place to pee every now and then so hopefully this time they will leave this bed alone. Look at that one's not for you. Move. You go, 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 go to yours, go. Let's see if I can get you guys to come out of there. So now I'm gonna actually have to use the, there's some hanging bowls that you can buy. They're called coop cups or whatever name, but if you go to the parrot section in your pet stores, um, they have like hanging bowls for the bird cages. And I usually feed my dogs in those. That way it keeps it up off the ground. They have more space in their crate. And they don't flip the bowls over because they sit inside of little rings. So your stainless steel bowls sit inside of the ring. And you just pull the ring out, clean the bowl if you want. Pull the ring out, pull the bowl out of the ring. So I'm going to have to put the rings back into this cage instead of using the setup we currently have. But I only went to these because we had so many dogs before. Now that there's just those two, I can go back to the hanging bowls. We can get rid of this towel thing that's going on in here because... It's a mess. Yeah, look at that. Dust bunnies everywhere. All right, let's see how we can do this here. Oh, what's that, Vinny? Oh, what's that? What's that? He's like, oh, yes. You like it? <laughs> You're a happy boy, huh? They still have space up here, but I'm not going to put their bowls in the front. Because clearly they would flip them over. So I'm going to um, end up putting the hanging bowls back in, which I just have to locate them because... You, you, you stick his head right in the cage and took the, the tree. You stick not like a cigarette. Romeo just robbed them of a rawhide stick, but they don't really chew on them anyway. Beautiful. You better go check out your new bed. You better go check out your new bed. <gasps> Come here. Come here. I can't pick you up with one hand. Oh, no. Oi. Oh, you're okay. Squeaker. Nothing wrong with you. Look. Look. Look at that. Oh, what's that? Is that cushy? Hmm? Oh, smells good, huh? Got all these. Oh, he loves it. Got all these nice new smells. I gotta figure out where I put those hanging bowls at, though. Let me find them. There. You stole it, didn't you? Yes, you stole that rawhide. Look at him. Did you steal their rawhide? Look at him. Trying to get rid of the evidence. Mm -hmm. This one over here was trying to return to the scene of the crime because he was coming back to get Vinny's other rawhide, but I just threw it in his cage. But he still will stick his whole head in there mm -hmm, and go steal it. Vinny decided he was going to go snatch his own stuff back, so he dug it out of the blanket, the towel over here. So, Andy Bay. I was talking to you guys about coop cups. I use these for all my dogs. 
in crates because it's an easy way to keep them from flipping over the water, flipping over the food. Basically, you got your stainless steel bowl and it hangs inside of a ring and the ring has a bolt like a butterfly setup and you just basically put this piece on the outside of the crate and obviously this hangs on the inside and you put it at whatever height you need it for your dog. Um, usually you want it to be about chin height so they don't have to bend down and um, that way you can just use the little wing nut here, tighten it up, there's your bowl. You can see it comes out very easily. The dogs can't flip it over and you can just basically um, clean it as you know anytime you need to take it out to feed them or just feed them from it and when it gets dirty just clean it out quick easy and simple people I'm all about quick and easy and simple um, but basically the, they were called coop cups like chicken coop cups when I bought them and they were in the bird section like where the parrot stuff is um, I think they do have some of the stainless steel bowls in the dog section, but they don't usually have the hanging part for you to be able to put it up on the crate. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this one on now, and um, if I can position this, ignore the TV, sorry about that, but mom's got something planned, soap opera time. So basically I'm just undoing a little wing nut here. I've got tons of these, they're just all different sizes, but some of them are old and crusty. They still work, it's just they're ugly, so I'm showing you guys the nice new one. So basically, let me take this off. And as you can see on your, good lord, come off. On your crate, you've got multiple bars. You just need to place it, and it really because you're doing the plates, like that's gonna go inside. Take that out for a second. So that plate is inside. Um, this is too high for them, clearly, so I'm going to put it down here. Probably right about there. I'm going to put this plate on there, and I'm just going to put it between two of these bars. It doesn't need to sit on something because you're going to tighten it up with that wing nut. So uh, basically, just put your wing nut back on there, and you're good to go. Wherever you tighten it is the height that it's going to stay at. And they can't flip anything over. Vinny is having a good old time over here. So, come on. Tighten up. There you are. I was looking for you. What's up? Alright. You want it relatively tight so your bowl's not like tilting back and forth. And that's it. Easy peasy. And I'm going to get the other one in there. I've got, like I said, I have quite a few of them. They come in many different sizes. I mean, you can get them in big, big parrot type bowls. You really don't want these type bowls because they don't fit in the rings. Um, and I have basically the Chihuahua size, smaller ones there. But for your bigger dogs, they come in very big sizes. So anyway, that is my dog inspired video for today. Everybody's happy uh, and I'm going to go clean my hands. <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.